Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we have a quick tutorial on SVG animation. So we're going to first use Adobe Illustrator to design a basic loading type of illustration. And then we'll go ahead and save it as an SVG and then edit some code in the SVG to make it animate. So if you need access to the project files, they're available for free at designcourse.com. And if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so go ahead to file new here in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to make the width and height 100 by 100. Control 1. And that is a, the basic size at 100% of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to zoom up here. I'm going to take out, left click and drag the ellipse tool. And I'm going to left click once and specify 100 by 100. All right, so if you want to go to view, snap to grid, and get this thing basically lined up there. Uh, then what we want to do is go ahead and scale it in just a little bit holding shift and alt and left clicking and dragging and we want to make this stroke a dashed line and we're going to make it also we're going to get rid of the fill and then switch to the stroke and change this to the blue color all right, and then I want to take it and control C, control F, shift and the alt key to scale it in. And then this time get rid of the stroke and make the fill the blue color. All right, so now what we want to do is, actually I think I will use a rounded rectangle here. We'll make the foreground color white and I'm going to turn off snap to grid and it's going to hold alt and make a bar roughly around that size control C and then control F take these two control C and control F and then one more you could probably use the grid uh, to get those even, but you don't have to really, uh, I'm not going to worry about that for this tutorial though. Just going to eyeball it. All right, so that's basic. the basic shape, very simple. Uh, so now what we want to do is Control S to save, and we want to save this as an SVG. We'll call this graphic.svg, hit enter, and I'm going to leave everything here the same and then just hit OK. Then I'm going to load up Sublime Text Editor. You can use Notepad if you don't have any type of HTML editor. Uh, you can download the project files and you'll see this index.html and you should be looking at the same thing here. So inside we're just going to put image source equals graphic.svg. As you see I've saved it in the same folder. OK, and I'll go ahead and save that and then load up or click on rather the S uh, SVG. And this is basically kind of what you should be looking at. So it's confusing, but this is basically all that image is. Uh, this is what makes it, you know, be produced or whatever. So you can get rid of some of this stuff up here. Um, but basically, what we want to do is make some adjustments. We can see that these four paths, one, two, three, four, or five rather, that have the white color code are our bars. And then we also have uh, the first circle, which is the dash circle right here. So we want to make that one rotate. So what we want to do is get rid of this slash, that forward slash there, and come down and put slash circle to close that up. Now, so inside is where our transform, our animation is going to go. So what we want to do is put in animate transform attribute name equals transform and I'll just leave it over here attribute type equals sorry I had to pause my wife had the garage door opening down there equals uh, XML 
and type equals rotate from equals 0, 100, actually this is 50, sorry, and I'll explain this in a second, 2 equals 360, 50, 50, and dur for duration equals 10s, and for 10 seconds, and then repeat count equals indefinite, which will make it loop forever. And I need to put a space here to make those green. I don't know why it's making those white. And then I uh, basically, that will rotate this thing. And the reason I put, instead of, you could just leave it at 0 to 360. That means it's rotating, you know, basically a full circle. Uh, but putting 50-50, well, you remember it was 100 by 100 for our width and our height. Uh, 50 by 50 will make sure it centers basically at the zero point so it centers like this otherwise if we left it at zero and 360 it would be like this it, it wouldn't work right uh, let me demonstrate it let me open up this and let me snag this over here and as you can see it's rotating perfectly Actually, we could have fixed up that area where there's two of them together in Illustrator. It's no big deal, though. Uh, so basically, uh, if we had this way, and remove these two real quick. Sorry, I had to stop again and pause. All right, and then come back here. This was the issue I was facing. I was like, where, how the hell do you do this? And I was doing searches and stuff. Anyhow, that's why I'm showing you. Just take the uh, width and height, divide it by two, and you'll get your two X and Y points. All right, so basically that's it for there. Uh, now what we want to do is kind of make those areas, uh, or these little things, kind of jump up and down. So the way we do that is, let me, there we go. Uh, we'll take basically this part and we'll put in wait what am I doing there we go we'll put the slash path here and come in here and basically kind of just do the same thing except with some slightly different information so animate transform ID and you know what whatever I don't care about the ID all right so now we're going to do is attribute name equals transform. Put my space in there. The attribute type equals XML. Type equals translate. Translate basically means move. Duration is one second. Values. All right, now this is going to be a little bit confusing. So 0, 15, semicolon, 0, negative 15, and yeah, I want to make sure I do that. Right. Okay, cool. And se semicolon, basically 0, 15. And then repeat count equals indefinite. Whew, okay. So let's save that and see if it works. All right, that's a little bit much, I think. So what we can do is take those 15 values, take them down maybe to like six. I was using 200 before just to test this tutorial and uh, I decided to go with 100. Now that's better, all right. So now what we wanna do is just to save time is take from the path all the way up to here and copy and then take these two paste 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 and paste and then what we, what we want to do is put in for these other four begin equals 
0.1, so that means it's going to delay when it begins. This one will be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. Also, I want to come over here, and I'm going to put a real quick some uh, CSS style equals margin top 200 pixels. All right, so now if I go ahead and open that up. We'll see a pretty cool loading graphic. And we can also see that I, if we come over to, let's see, here, actually let me load up my containing folder. Uh, the actual SVG file is only 3 KB. So if you were to try to do this as like an animated GIF or something, it would be a lot, a lot, lot bigger, I would imagine. Uh, and so yeah, there you go. I. Uh, I know you can also do hover effects. I haven't quite messed with that yet. Um, but of course, if you wanted to fix up this area, because I don't like that. Uh, let me go over to Illustrator. And usually you can, uh, if you hit Control H while you select it, you get rid of that box view. All you have to do is mess around with the dash gap, um, the value, like uh, maybe 15 now it looks like they're all spread out a lot better all right so yeah that is it so uh that's just a quick tutorial um and yeah i will talk to you guys tomorrow but first check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on youtube all right goodbye